Grade 8 Math Number 3.3c Using Slopes to Compare Unit Rates We've said before in 7th grade and even in this playlist that a unit rate is a type of rate that has a second quantity that is only one unit like miles for each one hour miles per hour that's a unit rate we can find the slope of a line by finding the constant rate of change of points on the line we can use equations graphs and tables to compare unit rates and as we've said before, the slope of a line, that's m in the slope formula, it's the change in y values over the change in x values. We get an ordered pair of x, y values, and we subtract the first y value from the second and the first x value from the second. That's all. We make a fraction out of it. We can simplify it, and that'll give us our slope. So two families decided to go to an apple orchard to pick apples. The equation y equals 2.75x represents the rate in bushels per hour that apples were picked by the members of family A. The graph represents the rate that apples were picked by family B. So which family picked apples faster, family A or family B? We have a graph for family B, but we only have an equation for family A. So the first thing we do is we use the equation to make a table for family A's apple picking rate in bushels per hour. Here's the time in hours counted by twos for family B and the amount of bushels counted by twos. See? Time in hours is x, bushels is y. So time in hours is x and bushels are going to be y. So here's family A. They've got 2.75 for 1 and 5.5 for 2 for each of the hours. See? So what we do is, we use this table to find a slope of the line for family A. So we take the second values, and we subtract these first values from the second values. See? So we've got 5.5 minus 2.75. That's right here. And 2 minus 1. That's right here. After we do our subtraction, we get our rise over our run. We come up with 2.75 bushels per hour this 2.75 ends up being the slope. See, that's m. All right, so now we've got family b. We use the graph to find the slope of the line for family b. It's the rise over the run. We can count, because each box represents 2. Our rise is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And our run, that's the horizontal, is 2, 4. See? Because it counts by 2 also. So we've got a rise over run is 10 over 4. We can also take the y values for the point number 2, which is this one, and that's a 20, and we can take away the 10 from point 1's y value. 20 take away 10 is 10. We take away the second x value, which is an 8, and we subtract the first x value, which is a 4. 8 take away 4 is 4. That's our 10 over 4, our rise over run, see? That's 2.5 bushels per hour. When we compa compare the unit rates for family A and family B, we can see family A has got 2.75 and it's greater than 2.5, so family A is faster, see? They pick apples faster. Not a whole lot, but enough that they're winning, right? So that's using slopes to compare unit rates. And we're going to continue on, and we're going to talk about non-proportional relationships in the next unit, okay? We're going to go on to unit 3.4 with non-proportional relationships. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.